a VIN here. Sorry for the long wait. But I kind of decided to let a few weeks go by. And man, it's been torture. Trust me. Because I watch a lot of theory videos. A lot of re live reaction videos. A lot of, you know, review videos. Especially with One Piece. It's my favorite series. So it was kind of torture having to go two weeks without reading or watching any of that to spoil chapters 840 and 841. But I'm still going to do like my initial video is going to say and be a review slash theory video up until that. So it's still going to be the 836 through 839. We're just going to do a brief little freaking review uh first off i'm gonna check to see if this is streaming or not So we're streaming, kind of a slight delay. get on with this. So we start off with 836's cover page with Aoki G. Sorry, I might have pronounced that a little bit wrong. But he's having a barbecue with some overgrown friggin' penguin on some random island. So we go into Nami reminiscing about Pudding, telling her about her sister, which ends up being Lola. See, we called that. Almost everyone connected Big Mom to Lola the minute she said her mom was an important pirate in the New World. Like, who, what woman pirate in the New World do we know it, that it's important? So going on uh, Luffy fighting the rabbit and crane or whatever the hell this is uh, in comes Cracker killing people with his evil death stare which <clears throat> I wonder if it has something to do with like how all the other crackers that patrol Hulk Cake Island how they kind of have like a soul in them. I wonder if that's why. Maybe it's Big Mom's soul that really killed them. And that's what it was. Because they were terribly afraid of her BB card. Out of that card, everyone, even Brulee. Okay, 837. We have Yasop, Usopp's father, and a couple of the other red hair pirates. 
And he's laughing at a newspaper. It's probably got something with you, Usopp, on it. Um. Sorry, I just had to share that real quick. Try and get some more viewers in. Oh. I shall baptize you with a new world cleansing. Uh, gear third, gear two, not really doing nothing to Cracker. Which, everyone knows, this isn't Cracker's true form. It's his devil fruit power. Boulay going in talking about the supernovas that have come in contact with Big Mom and get this a rogue the mad monk of all the supernovas now granted I never underestimated him a lot of people didn't like him thought he was the weakest supernova I never liked Apo the roar of the sea uh, interesting character design interesting theme but I never really kind of liked that guy but a rogue it was nice to see another sky island guy and then he had this whole hulk factor to him that he would receive damage and but well this is what it kind of was leading on to that he was like get damage and that he would get more powerful basically like the whole getting angrier Go oh, pound. Just knock the fuck out of Brulee. And then Thunderbolt Tempo. <laughs> Nami. Fried her. Okay, so here's another thing. A lot of people say, and even in the modern chapter storyline, Nami, I think, and Chopper were s saying along the lines, like, we're not ready. We're not prepared to take on a Yonko. Because look at what the commanders are doing for the Yonko. Uh, and there's this whole power scale thing. One Piece, if anything, it was inspired off of Dragon Ball Z. We all know the power level of Dragon Ball Z is not legit. For one, you have a Supreme Kai that in the modern Dragon Ball Z Super, we know the Supreme Kai is the God of Life, or creation, one of those two, I can't quite remember off the top of my head. The opposite of the God of Destruction being Beerus. But when we first got introduced to the Supreme Kai, he was weak. He couldn't even take on Majin Buu. And Majin Buu wouldn't stand a chance against Beerus, in all honesty. So, the power scale, you gotta throw that out the window. You can't just look at it as you got the Shibi. Ah, oh, my lord. The seven warlord, pirate warlords of the government. I'm sorry, that Japanese name is killer for me to pronounce. I'm trying to work on it bear with me you can't look at it like this though that they are on like the level of the commanders or the calamities of the yonko it's it's not like that we actually are getting introduced to the fact that it's been foreshadowed even within the straw hats that the captain isn't necessarily the absolute strongest member of the crew he is just the most respected because he comes through basically like okay Zoro I'm a huge Zoro fan and I'm gonna say this with minimal bias but Zoro if Cracker especially if Cracker of all people can cut into Luffy's arm Zoro can no problem he cut clean through Pisha and Pisha was clad in full hockey full hockey and then he kept back the birdcage as best as he could with his hockey. Which, honestly, 
I think he could have cut through it. It was all just storyline to make Luffy be the winner. Anyway, there's where my little bit of bias will come in. Other than that, in a one-on-one fight, Zoro versus Luffy, I think Zoro could take Luffy. For one, his devil fruit power is weak against swords. This has been a big thing. It's blunt force. It can take no problem. Sharp objects are killer. Killer. Even with hockey. Zoro's hockey is insane. Even prior to him gaining hockey, his aura alone was insane. It was that of a demon. Uh, anyway, kind of getting off topic here. But like I'm saying, it's it's not like that. Okay, Marco and Jaws for the Whitebeard Pirates could arguably be considered almost on par with Whitebeard. Well, maybe not Whitebeard, but with the Admirals. Like, if you look at what they did, they really had no problem against the Warlords defending themselves. And if Garp, which we all know, Garp was... the Sengoku wanted him to be higher rank, but he didn't want to go any further. So that, that is a testament to the true power of Monkey D. Garp. Like, honestly, it's insane to think that he is just strictly Vice Admiral level. We even look at Fujitora, Vice Admiral. He is not Vice Admiral level. Honestly, if he went all out against Doflamingo, he probably could have pulled it off as well. A lot of people say that there needs to be another time skip to progress the power levels at a quicker rate of the straw hats because they're not just it. But that was the purpose of this time skip. The two year time skip was for the straw hats not to beat Doflamingo. That was not even in the equation prior to the time skip. We didn't know any about this until after Fishman Island that this was going to be a big deal. So, you can't say that Luffy gained all this power and the Straw Hats gained all this power just to take down Dolph Lamingo. You can't. They, their purpose was to be able to survive in the New World because they got a dose of what the New World has to offer. They had the Pacifistas after them. They had Bartholomew Kuma after them. They had an admiral after them. One, arguably, probably one of the most dangerous because he has the power of light. Light. Okay. Akiinu has the power of magma. And he claims that magma can burn anything. But magma cannot burn light. You cannot burn light. Honestly, light burns you. Because <laughs> it's already heat. You can't... See, this is where I have a problem with him also being able to beat Ace too like that was just pure story plot line as well so it's argue I could argue with people that Doflamingo is actually a Gonko level think about it he had a fully awakened devil fruit fully mastered and fully mastered Haki and Everyone in his circle had fully mastered hockey and had fully mastered devil fruit powers. The ones that had devil fruits. You can't look at even Crocodile. Crocodile had a fully mastered devil fruit. We can see the foreshadowing because devil fruits in not just the immediate environment but mass environment. Like Doflamingo's birdcage. And then when he finally used at the end. What was it? White willow or something like that attack. Anyway. Where all the land on the island started turning into string. Yeah. Shit like that. See. A drought. They claimed it was that boogie powder. I think that was a cover to set up the key. And strictly just that. 
it was never used because crocodile had his power what it's perfect cover okay then you can't say all the yonko are the same level you can't say all the warlords are the same level because doflamingo like i said is yonko level hawkeye i believe is yonko level hancock she could be a low tier yonko level but see this is where i'm getting at the whole power scale is not set so let's get on with this Ooh, Kong Gun. That was an interesting little boom. Right back in it. Uh, now we got 38 Brocker. Got Shanks looking at the newspaper now, probably to do with Luffy. You know, they're all about the straw hats. Looks like weird. I love One Piece for that crazy animation. See, okay, this is what I'm talking about. I, when I first was attempting to do these videos, Y'all don't know this, but when I was first attempting to do these videos, I was throwing out a bunch of theories like, I never once thought Big Mom was really going to fight Luffy. And then now we're on Hulk Lake Island and everything that's being said from her commanders is telling us that she has no interest in, like, crushing Luffy. She's testing him. She wants him to come to this wedding and stop it. She wants this. She wants to see why a Yonko would put his faith in a rookie. I guarantee you it has something to do with how white beard. And then I'm sure her intelligence network is insane. I'm sure she knows that the red haired pirates are all about the straw hats too. And then Luffy just has the freaking audacity to call Big Mom out and challenge her in the new world, what? Sa to save Fishman Island. Ooh, Ben Smokes. Ichiji and Niji. Or Niji. I think it's Niji. Kind of sounds better, Niji. family dinner although man I think my family's messed up these dudes are insane and being up a helpless girl because you believe you're royalty and you're above them threatens Zeph man I bet freaking Zeph would epically own Sanji's father like he survived in the new world not just the grand line like one of my theories I think Zeph was part of Roger's crew I'm putting it out there so I guess the Germa 66 are a bunch of clones and probably Sanji and his brothers and stuff too oh right so we're in it. Live reactions. 840 and 841. Here's 840. Iron Mask. See, typical that way back at the start of this arc that they showed us a mask kid. We all knew it was Sanji. And this is just kind of proving it. I mean, the chapter name. It would have been interesting if it was somebody else. His father was a scientist. Oh, mad scientist. Oh, 
now they're thinking they're God because they can genetically engineer them too. Replacement Depot, Soldier Depot, that's fucking fucked up. Go, Sanji. up on Sanji. It's fucked up. Are you live? Yes, I'm live. There's a slight delay in it, though. Dang, Sanji's just like fucking Luffy when he was little. The runt of the bunch. His dad's an asshole. Let the nigga feed his rat. There we go. He's in the mask. Calling out for a father that don't care about him. Man, that's intense. This seems to be a recurring theme in One Piece that they are always like overly emotional. You turn that down. That shit gonna be in my video. Okay, 841 to the East Blue. We have Whitebeard flashback there. Ain't seen him for like 200 chapters. 
Shit, maybe more Darius Rosa with his freaking hell long of a freaking arc. Dang, his mom just looks like his sister, Riju. <laughs> the other one, she just ate Sanji's meal, no problem. But the maid freaking ate it and about had a freaking brook moment and her soul left her body. So they're crossing the red line to the east blue. <laughs> he wants to become his chef, and she's like, quit telling me that. Go, Riju. Help your brother escape. Damn. Just straight up bending them cell bars out. Little fucking like six year old. Like I said, genetic engineering. Oh. Damn. Sanji, you can't do nothing right at this age. Got caught and barely got out. Identify himself as your offspring. Judge you an ass. And here we go with the same as Water 7 and Tina's lobby with Robin. And the whole. You'll find your friends. Riju don't spit in the same thing as. Uh, who was it? D Saul, some D Saul. Sit saying you'll meet people that'll treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Don't look back. He's all remembering this flashback while he just got his ass freaking pummeled into the ground. Okay, now we go to the final page. I guess it's a double page in actuality. <laughs> in true Luffy style, eating freaking crackers biscuit clones. <laughs>
And Luffy definitely can eat a whole shitload. Well, that's it. So, kind of a crazy turn. Instead of using Gear 4, he resorted to eating Crackers clones. Yeah, that sounds like Luffy. To be completely honest, that definitely sounds like Luffy. Uh, hopefully he can make it. I, I doubt he wouldn't be able to make it. I mean... They're not going to lose Sanji. Sanji's part of the trio, the three trio. People want Usopp to replace him, but Usopp, he's still not there yet. Well, that's it for the video. Like, share, donate, shit. <laughs> PayPal account is in one of the links in my about on my channel page. Anyway, look forward to the next video.